Alright guys, so this training right here is going to be a real quick one, but it's where I show you uh, how to make a funnel within a funnel. So, I call this the Inception Funnel um, for that reason, right? So this is actually uh, one of the things that I came up with, I think is really cool, and uh, it can be very effective to get people to consume your content a little more. And, you know, it may not be best for funnels that you're actively sending all your traffic to, but for things like websites and things like that, uh, it, it could be a really good idea for you to use because what it does is it gets your, your prospect engaged on your website, right? They have to actually interact with your website in order to get more details instead of just saying, here's all my information, right? And this can vary depending on business as all this stuff can. But the whole point of this is you want prospects, you want people when they come to your website or like to think of your website, your funnel, your it's like your online store, right? You want them to interact and consume the, the information you have on that page. Otherwise, you know, our attention pans are so, so short, we'll just go to someone else, right? And so it's so easy to click off your page and go to someone else's. And in the age of uh, the mobile, in the mobile age that we're in, people like to click on things and touch things. And like, maybe you've seen those videos. Uh, let me see if I can find one. Um, kid trying, kid thinks, I think it's like, kid thinks magazine is iPad. So, so let me just show you this video, right? This is, these are what kids are doing. So just, so it's playing with an iPad. Parents, you know, they're giving their kids iPads and stuff like that. And so this is what people are, are growing up with. And so watch the, what the kid's trying to do, <laughs> right? So <laughs> it's, it's trying to touch and poke and, and interact with the magazine. Uh, it didn't, we don't need to see more for the point, but, uh, but pretty much the kids just thinks the magazine are these, uh, are these screens. And so the reality is, is that the generation, uh, the younger generation, right, that you are going to be your future consumers are going to look for websites and companies and businesses that give them that interactive experience when they, they visit you online, right? And that's the future. And so you've got to be paying attention to that. And so a simple way is to do use the inception funnel. So I'm going to walk you through this. Real quick, so your standard funnel, just so you have reference, is where you click a button and you go to a new new page, right? Or you know, where people have sales letters and you read all the way down. Um, what this is, it combines the clicking of the button and getting people to read more, but it uses a logic tree idea, a logic tree where it's like, you know, you get forks in the road. Like they, they can either say yes or no, right? And then what happens if they say yes? You, you give, you create a scenario. What happens if they, they say no? You create a scenario. And that's a little more complicated than this lesson. But I just want to show you this, the simple format. So what I did here is I just have on, on this Funnel Excellence website. You can go check it out too. It, I just says, are you ready for click funnels? I ask them a question at the top of the page, right? Because if they're not ready for it, like it doesn't matter if they read my information, right? I'm not trying to convince them that. Uh, some, I'm not trying to convince someone who doesn't who doesn't want ClickFunnels or isn't interested in it uh, to get it here, right? That's not the purpose. The purpose is to figure out who is interested and then give them a little more inf information to push them over the edge to either sign up as an affiliate of mine for ClickFunnels or sign up for my um, some of my services or programs, right? So I ask them a question and they can either say yes or no. So I'm gonna do the no answer first, right? Uh, just to show you what, what that does. And, and this is just a really simple uh, thing. So it says no, and you see the whole section appears below really quickly, right? That's really important because this is all on the same page, right? This doesn't go to a new URL. Uh, it loads very, very fast, right? Which is really good. You don't want slow loading pages. So it essentially appears, right? So as soon as someone says, are you, they hit no, then this little arrow pops up. And I'll, here, I'll do it again just so you can see. So let's refresh the page. So I hit no, and then this arrow pops up to show them if their screen's smaller to, to like show, hey, something happened, and then they can go down. And then I just have a little thing that says, uh, no worries, perhaps we might be able to change your mind, right? Not, <laughs> I kind of said I'm not trying to change their mind, but um, I'm, I'm putting this here for a specific reason. So, um, so it says, no worries, perhaps I'm going to change your mind, right? Just because it, I don't have anything to lose at this point in time, right? I don't have anything to lose by showing them a little bit more here because they already said no, they're not ready for it. So like either they're going to read this and, and maybe get interested or they might leave, right? So I just kind of show them all the different uh, things that that I offer, some of the things that uh, the bonuses I offer for, um, for ClickFunnels, right? And when they click this, they can click this learn more button 
and uh, then that take I just need to fix that button. <laughs> That's good that that I'm doing this right here. Um, always test your funnels, but anyways, they can scroll down through this, and I've set this up to where it's just a single feed, right? Very much like your social media feeds, and uh, I'm still testing this format, but. Uh, I want them to read these things, right? I don't want them to, to go over everything else. So that's why I set up like that. Now I ask them a question again. Now are you ready to sign up for ClickFunnels, right? They can still, let's say, do the no route again, right? So no, right? So then I'm like, well, perhaps you have a question before you buy, right? And I just take them to my frequently asked questions page, right? Because maybe they do have a question. And that might be a reason why someone doesn't want to buy right now. Um, it could be something else as well. But uh, you can address all those kind of things with these kind of logic trees. And then again, once they scroll to the bottom of this, it's like, what do you think? Ready to check out ClickFunnels, right? And so I keep giving them the options. So if they say no here, and then I end with this. This is kind of my default ending is shucks, but it's all good. And just a little like, hey, it took us a little bit of time to, to, when we first heard of ClickFunnels, but no worries. And then I just say, hey, you know, uh, no pressure, but I recommend you join uh, our free group where you can take your time figuring out if ClickFunnels is for you. Then when they click on this right here, they go to my my group social marketing hacks right so that's the sim that's really simple how it works right and so you see how those things appear really quickly and they can say no now what happens if they say yes for this right so if, if i say are you ready for click funnels right now i've made this really simple so when they say yes it literally just takes them to this is my dash uh, that was my dashboard but it has an affiliate link embedded here and uh it will take them to uh to click funnels and so they can sign up right so uh, that's how I have this one structured for now but that's really a quick overview on how to do that um, or, or you know what this is now let me show you how you can do that in on the page really really simple all you do the first thing that you need to, to, to do is hide all the elements elements sec so these are the orange ones are the elements the ones with the blue are the rows and then the the green are the sections so it's easiest just to hide sections right um, but you can hide anything you want. So uh, you want to do that because you need to have a command to, and in my case, it's the button. So the button click will will reveal things or, or hide things. So all you do is, I have a lot more sections on this in the page, so I'll show you here. You go to the sections little um, button here and you click man manage, right? And here are all the sections that I have on the page, right? And you see, uh, the, this one is not hidden and this one is hidden, right? And so all you can do to hide sections is you just click this eye. Like if I click this eye, my main section's hidden, right? You see how that disappeared? If I click it again, it's back, right? That's all you do to hide your sections. Um, but there's one thing that you need to pay attention, you need to do before you hide the sections to make it work is you need to actually go, so whatever it is, so if you're gonna do a row, an element or whatever, here's what you need to do. I'm gonna do the example on the section, but it's the same for all of them. You go to settings, and then you come down to this to this hashtag pound sign and it says get CSS info and just click on that and you just what you want to do is just update the title of it to a, a unique name and this makes sure that ClickFunnels knows and can recognize that section right if you don't update it it uh, ClickFunnels will get confused and then your show hide action button won't work so I just called this one main section you can call it whatever you can call them whatever you want but just do that and it also helps you right when you're on this list here it helps you figure out what sections you have, right? Uh, so uh, that's good. And then if you have someone working for you, you can say, hey, I want you to go and make edits to uh, the bonuses section of my ClickFunnels page, right? So that's that's important. Okay, so how do you show and hide them? Well, I've done that with these buttons, and buttons are the, are the best way to do it. So all you do is you go to the settings of the button, and you go to set action. And there's all these different uh, different actions you can do for buttons, right? This yes button goes to the to the website URL. So, like I said, that's it goes to my ClickFunnels. But if I could use this no button, which will show and hide, let's go here, and I have it do the show and hide action, right? And so all you do is you just pick which sections are rows or elements you want it to show, and all you do is just you can click it, and then there, there's a check mark, right? So I'm gonna unclick that one because I don't want that one. But I just go and find the things that I want it to show, and I put check marks. And then I also want to make sure it hides certain things. And so I go and find things that I want to hide at various points in time. And this, this one doesn't have them, but other ones do. And that's all you do, right? It's really simple. And then once you have that, then uh, make sure you always save it. And I'll preview it to show you again. So 
Are you ready to get ClickFunnels and to get all the amazing ClickFunnels bonuses that we offer? No? No worries. Perhaps you might be able to change your mind, right? And here are all the different bonuses that we have. Boom, 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 boom. They can scroll down, they can read them, they can, and then there's buttons here that they can always click to uh, learn more, right? And then if they get to the bottom of this page, I prompt them again with the question, like I, sh I showed you before, because I want to keep asking, asking them. They just consumed information, so the, the state of mind that they're in here, down here, is going to be different than it is up here, right? Because they said no up here, right? And they didn't leave, so if they, if they scroll all the way down here, they obviously didn't leave, and so they're going to be in a slightly different state of mind. And maybe they're curious. Maybe they're like, hmm, what happens if I click this button again? Right, so they're getting more information, and so maybe at the end, they uh, they will be they will click this yes, right? So that is this kind of inception funnel, and that's how you can do the show or hide actions to make it. And one of the key things that I kind of hinted at the end is is getting people to say yes, right? The more you can get someone to say yes in interaction with you, um, the the more I guess the easier it is to get them to take you up on your offer at the end of the interaction or when you finally it comes time to close so you gotta think about that so if you like this trading let me know if you like to know more about this also let me know and uh, yeah as always if you have any questions uh, let me know as well and if you aren't even affiliated with you don't you haven't joined my final excellence lab you can do that but if you don't want to do that yet it's all good. You can join my Facebook community for free and get a bunch of content and free uh, free help and updates with and meet some awesome, awesome people. So that's that. And with that, I'm signing out.